done. Oh, hello children. I'm Teacher Chloe from Blue Tree Education. What am I doing? I'm actually clearing the old clothes from my wardrobe. Do you also have old clothes from your wardrobe that you want to give it away? Hold on a minute. If you have old clothes from your wardrobe that you want to give it away, you can actually recycle your clothes by doing a simple and fun experiment at home. And today, I'm going to show you how you can color your clothing by using the natural color from the vegetable. And the experiment, we are going to extract out the color from your vegetable here. Firstly, you need to do so by separating your white clothing from your colored clothing. On my table, I have some fresh vegetable here, the yellow ginger turmeric, and the purple cabbage. Do you know that fruits and vegetables have vibrant color? For example, this cabbage gets its color purple from a class of pigment molecule known as anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are also found in your flower petals. There are lots of benefits when you eat vegetable with vibrant color as it contains anthocyanins. For instance, anthocyanins contain antioxidant that is beneficial for your health. It helps you to maintain good heart, good memory, and beautiful skin complexion. Next, you want to ensure that the purple cabbage and the yellow ginger have been chopped into smaller pieces, like this. The reason of why we want to chop into smaller pieces is so that it can increase the surface area so that the color of the vegetable can be extracted easily. Lastly, to prepare for an experiment, you will need a cooking pot. And you will pour the chopped vegetable into your cooking pot. And let me bring you to the kitchen to carry on to the next step, the experiment. So right now, this will be my cooking pot. We need to prepare this cooking pot, a jug of water, and your white color clothing. Sprinkle some purple cabbage into the cooking pot. Make sure it's spread well evenly. Right now, you will need to put this white clothing into the cooking pot. Make sure you fold the clothing so that it fits just nice into the cooking pot. Sprinkle some more purple cabbage over the cooking pot and right now add in the water and right now let's bring it to the gas stove now you can switch on the flame from the gas stove Children, you will need parent supervision for this part of the experiment. As the water gains heat and boil, the purple cabbage will now be heated up and this will extract the color out from the cabbage which gave its purple. Continue boiling for about 10 to 15 minutes using medium heat. Wow, can't you see that the clothing is turning purple? Remember, as the water begins to boil, turn the flame from the gas stove to low heat so that you prevent water from spilling out. As you can see, I'm using a spoon to scoop out the color of the water and right now, it's really purple. So the boiling water is extracting the color from the purple vegetable and my clothing is turning from white to purple. Continue boiling for about 5 to 10 minutes. However, if you want a darker shade of purple, you can boil it longer so that you can extract the dye color from the vegetable fully. All right, it's about 15 minutes. As you can see, the color of my clothing is starting to turn purple and we can see that beautiful shades of purple from the clothing right now. And this color actually come from the purple cabbage. Isn't it amazing to have natural dye color? And this is one creative method that you can dye your clothes and into something brand new. 
Now, switch off the flame and let the pot cool down for about 30 minutes as it's now very hot. Remember children, you need parent supervision for this part of the experiment. We are going to extract the yellow dye from the yellow ginger. And by slicing them into smaller pieces, it's so that there is a greater surface area in contact with the ginger to actually extract the yellow dye. Right now, we will put some of the sliced yellow ginger into this pot and of course your fold white t-shirt and you sprinkle some yellow ginger over the white t-shirt and once they are ready, pour in about 900 ml of water So once you pour about 900 ml of water, you can bring it to boil. Remember, at this stage of the experiment, you will need a parent supervision as it's dangerous for you to operate fire on your own. And the water is boiling. As you can see, the white clothes start to turn yellow. And this yellow is natural. It comes from the yellow ginger. So to have a more potent color, because some of you may like darker shades of yellow, you can actually boil it longer. But if you think that you want some pale yellow, by now you can actually off the flame. But for now, I'm just going to keep stirring so that the color is being spread out evenly so you can see beautiful colors so can you see that the water here is yellow so pretty obvious that the color from the yellow ginger is already been extracted out so I'm just gonna give it boil for a few more minutes then I have this beautiful yellow and it's all ready. So right now, I'm just going to off the flame. So after you switch off the flame from the gas stove, allow the pot to cool down to room temperature. At this point of time, take note not to put your finger and touch the yellow clothing because it's extremely boiling hot. So as you can see, the yellow is really beautiful. I'm falling in love with it. My clothing was white originally and right now it becomes bright shades of yellow. After the t-shirt has been cooled down from the cooking pot, leave it out to dry under a hanger. Both of these t-shirts are originally white in color. And right now we have shades of yellow and we also have purple. The yellow t-shirt comes from yellow ginger and the purple t-shirt come from the purple cabbage. Isn't it amazing that you can try this small experiment at home and turn your t-shirt into something creative and fun? I hope you have enjoyed and had fun doing the experiment. So that's how you can dye your clothes by using the natural color from the vegetable. Remember, eating vegetable with vibrant color help you to stay healthy.